Today, I'm going to show you how to create professional headshots in just a few seconds using Ideogram. We'll check out the portrait template, and then I'll share my master Ideogram headshot prompt and show you how to make small tweaks to your images to change clothing or aspect ratio. Let's jump in. From the main page, head over to character on the left sidebar. I'll use camera to open up my camera window. Hello, and take photo. Now that I have my selfie uploaded, I'll open templates and if you scroll down, you'll see one called Professional Portrait. We'll select it and hit Generate. Just like that, we have professional looking headshots. And you can adjust this prompt if you like. I'll use this image and click on the prompt box. I'm going to change my outfit to be wearing a tan suit with a tropical shirt. Hit Generate and there we go. Sometimes I like to travel for business and leisure, so this is quite fitting. Now, as good as that template looks, it may not be your vibe for a headshot. So next, I'll show you my master prompt and how to create multiple styles of headshots from it. For the character reference, I'll click the upload button and I'll choose a picture of my friend Jenny. And select character. She's an art director at an agency, so she prefers her headshots to be a bit more light and friendly. Now, here is my master prompt I'm using for the generations. I'll put it in the description below so you guys can copy it. Let's break it down so you can adjust it for your own creations. Professional headshot portrait. That stays the same for all my headshots. Person is. Here we can describe the type of expression on their face. For Jenny, I'll put genuine smile. Wearing, that's easy, the clothing. I'll put black v-neck t-shirt. For background, here we'll describe the setting for our scene. For Jenny, I'm looking for a studio setting for this first headshot. And I'd like it to also be a white brick wall. And finally, lighting. This is to create a tone for the overall image. For example, you can put warm lighting, cool, sort of natural, cinematic, or moody. Since we're going for a studio setting, I'll put soft studio. Okay, looks good. I'll hit generate. Here are Jenny's headshots. Here are some other headshots I made for her just from changing the fields in that prompt. Now, I really like her smile and the background in this headshot, but I'd like to swap out the t-shirt. We can do that in Canvas. On the image, I'll select Open in Canvas. Then grab the Magic Fill tool and highlight over her shirt. Hit Next. And for the prompt, swap to Light Gray Blazer. Then hit Magic Fill. Okay, that looks pretty cool to me. As you can see, her hair is cut off a bit. So I'm going to extend the top of the frame and I'll do the bottom also. So I'll grab the extend tool, change the prompt to headshot, and then remove her character. Now I'll move the borders and hit extend. Here are some other outfit swaps that I did for her. Next, my buddy Mark would also like some headshots. I'll drag in the selfie that he sent me and choose character. Mark works in finance, so I'll focus more on business, formal type headshots. I'll paste our master prompt and adjust it to say, person is smiling, wearing a black suit, light blue shirt, background is clean white studio setting, and again, I'll just keep the lighting to soft studio. Hit generate, and there we go. These are all pretty good. And here are some other headshots I made for him. Keeping his smile and the background, let's swap out the suit with some other options. So we'll go back to opening canvas, grab the magic fill tool, highlight over his shirt, hit next. And for the prompt, I'll just say swap to brown suit, then hit magic fill. Pretty cool. Here are some other outfit swaps. Okay, maybe not that one. And that's it. Super easy, right? When you've created the one, just click download, boom, done. Now you can upload it to LinkedIn, use it on your website, or just send it to your mom so she can update the family fridge photo. If you found this helpful, drop a like, hit subscribe, and let us know in the comments what style of headshots you're going to try. And don't forget, share your favorite headshots on our Discord, or tag us on TikTok, Instagram, or X. I'll put the links in the description below. Until then, thanks for watching, and have fun creating.